sorry about that. Uh, we are back with Love is Strange. I asked Victoria, look at me. I think I was momentarily possessed by a demon, one in cashmere. But I swear I'm not joining the dark side. Here's the thing. Victoria's got talent. She might have the worst attitude in the world, seriously, but if there's anyone in this school that knows their way around the camera better than she does, nope. So in the name of art, a truce. So, skip. What do you have in mind? You decide. the same idea. Yes, Victoria to loosen our grip. I haven't done this yet, so... This place is amazing. Skip. Uh, kinda. Photograph me. What? Can you see? You like? Oh my God! Why does this keep happening? I have no idea what is wrong with my computer. I see you got, I remember reading you have to get this if you want to get the one thing that I uh, one ending that I still need, so... Fox News, uh... Why won't it... Here we go. Did you? I... I... It worked. have a new new sense Next. I'm still not Urgent. really over the fact that I actually went and asked Victoria to partner with me for the contest. 
It could turn out to be the worst mistake of my life. TBH. It probably will. But the rules say you can't change your partner once you've picked. So for better or worse, I'm stuck. Work hard. Victoria showed me exactly what I was in for this morning at Two Whales. She showed up and was bitchy right off the bat and steamrolled her way through our conversation. But despite the, the weird part, she actually wanted to know what I thought about everything. She seriously asked for my opinion and then actually seemed to want to hear Yes, there's a first for everything, or this is an omen of, on of the oncoming apocalypse. So, hold an opportunity to voice my thoughts to the next queen, I decided to back down. I wasn't going to pick a location for a contest photo and then have her mo mock me. She wound up directing us to the boardwalk, which sort of surprised me. I really didn't think she'd take me somewhere covered in seawater. I was expecting, I don't know, something artsy. She took issue with my surprise. Go figure. And then she literally dragged me to the harbor. Still, it was really uncomfortable just being around her. I was tense, expecting her to jump down my throat constantly. But she wasn't shy about doing. And then she straight up told me that she was planning to enter the winning shot if we have one into her portfolio for a local art gallery. We might not get along. Maybe we never will. But Victoria is ruthlessly determined. Kind of envy her for it. Victoria woke me up at 8 and the freaking morning and got me into her car before I was even fully awake. She wound up taking me down, which was very, um, Victoria-like. Arctic Bay, tiny little downtown, is the only place I think someone like her wouldn't be entirely embarrassed to go shopping. I imagine she probably picked up her clothes in Seattle, though. Get this, she bought me an outfit. I have no idea WTF her game is, except that I'm apparently going to be modeling for her contest photo. So I did what any reasonably confused person would do and went quid pro quo. When I gave her a figurine I found, she had a kind of weird embarrassed reaction that was actually kind of cute, WTF. Uh, next. We wound up just relaxing our car once we were parked back at school and watching the stars come out. It was actually kind of nice. I couldn't believe I just wrote that. Victoria did everything she could to make me uncomfortable last year with her itchiness. So being able to just chill with her was like waking up on a different planet. Uh, let's see. Are you going to give me more pointers once you take them? Um. Oh, skip.
I'm a pretty good listener too. Skip. Skip! Look over them longer. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't think I did it, guys. I will. I was completely exhausted. I kind of wanted to fall right into bed, but I was distracted by the beautiful new clothes Victoria had bought me and her texting, even though we'd just seen each other. She made it seem like she was trying to give me fashion advice, but I think she was secretly wanting my attention, and I wound up taking a selfie for her in the outfit. Have I completely lost it? What? reality am I in that I'm texting Victoria and trading selfies. Selfies used to be my um, her favorite thing to mock me about. I guess it's starting to hit me now. Victoria's not exactly the person I thought she was. Or maybe we just never tried to get along enough before uh, to see beyond the surface of one another. I don't know. But I could get used to the new Victoria Chase. It wouldn't call her nice, but she hasn't been outright mean to me either. Maybe we could be friends. Okay, yeah, no, never mind. Now I know I'm definitely losing it. We're teaming up for the contest. I've gotta keep my mind focused on that. I know she is, and that shall go back to her usual uh, self once it's over. I got up and met with Victoria on the grounds only to be reminded of a contest rule I hadn't even thought about. We can only enter one photo. We both have cameras and our own opinions and our own visions, but we can only enter one pic. F. After tearing into me, she seemed so uneasy, and then she asked me what I wanted to do about it. Like I would know what to say, but she seemed totally lost about it. Like it really bothered her. So I told her I wasn't sure. I was just trying to be honest because I don't know any more than she did. She seemed okay with that though. We came up with a plan, sort of. We decided that we'd just go through our fo photos and pick the best one, like we're competing. I guess I shouldn't have expected us to really be a team. Victoria drove us down to the boardwalk, and as soon as we got there, she was teasing me. But I'm totally starting to get the hang of it now, and the fire back. Once we were at the heart, she took me onto the yacht. She didn't actually tell me until we were already on it. Uh, I knew they were loaded, but damn! I felt like I was on a vacation with the devil. I mean, I'm not totally clear. I wish to see Victoria's bad attitude came from her insecurity. Like she has to put others 
down to raise herself up. I thought it was just because she's mean, but there's another side to her. Um, oops. Okay. Here we go. I'm not saying that she's a nice person, but maybe she's not completely awful. She's actually really cool sometimes, and she has a sort of fun side in a scary way. And we both have really similar goals. She's a lot more cutthroat about it, but we want a lot of the same things. The photo I went end up taking of her is a totally candid shot. She wasn't ready for it at all, and that's what makes it really a really great photograph that she's totally unguarded and unprepared a victoria that's not putting on a show so things took a super tense turn we went back to school to look over the photos we took today and victoria told me that we should submit mine that none of hers were special i really must be on a different planet